My parents were in the armed forces, so I grew up in Singapore and in Nocton Hall in Lincolnshire. Uh, then we came back to Wales to live. And at the age of 14, I got into trouble. Uh, from that, then I went to the careers office, signed up at 15. Uh, at 16, I was in the Welsh Guards. We were on leave and I was in a, a social club back home in, in Nelson, in South Wales, where I'm from. And somebody said, isn't that your, your mob on the television? And it was telling us all to return to our units. Then we set sail, because it was eight hours late setting sail, and then we arrived in Port Pleasant, uh, well late. We were there, it was two, two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, beautiful day. A few puffy clouds, quite chilly, but it was a nice day, a bit, bit windy. And um, there was nothing to get us off the ship. There was no vehicles. Um, the amphibious assault people hadn't brought in any vehicles for us to get off. Uh, so we were stuck. And the air raid happened well too soon. We had no way of getting to land. My injuries, I was 48, 49% burns. I was... Uh, the worst injured to come off the ship, subsequently the worst injured to make it home, as the surgeons told me. And subsequently, I believe it's up into the 90s of operations, and between five and 700 units of blood and blood products, spent the best part of five years in hospital. Um, there are 48 men on board my ship who'd love to have my problems, uh, so I've got nothing to complain about. So we had the best of what could be done in the circumstances. Uh, everybody that got to the red and green life machine survived. Um, but the medical teams are phenomenal and the combat medics that do what they do, they're phenomenal people. They really are, they're just so excellent and so many of us are here to tell the tale because of those people. You know, we, we got hurt, we got injured, we lost too many men. Uh, well, when I eventually came back home, I didn't arrive home till three and a half weeks after being injured. My mother couldn't speak because she thought I was somebody else and then all of a sudden she realised it was me. Um, and they had to take her away to calm her down. And then she made it up to the hospital. I'd had to have a four hour bath to get the dressings off me because they'd been on me for so long. But my family, they dealt with it brilliantly. And they were the strength uh, that I needed to help me overcome things later on in life. We all knew we were joining a military force where lethal force is used, if you like. War is the, the end game. I'm proud of all of the things I've been involved in, all of the things I've done, because we've made a difference. Doesn't matter how big or small that difference is. The, the key to why we're on this planet is to make a difference. As long as it's a positive contributory factor, and we do change people's lives for the better, then that's what it's all about.